What's going on, Infinite Fam? Welcome back to another video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notification bell, leave a positive comment down below for a chance to get a wha. For a chance to win a shout out in the next video. That is right, guys. So do me a favor. Also, comment down below in the comment section how you guys are feeling right now. Are you guys okay? Are you guys all right in the head? You know, are you like, that sounds bad. Like, are you all right in the head? No, that sounds fine. Like, are you guys all right? Are you doing yeah. okay? How's your mind feeling? Yeah, you know? we want to genuinely know if you guys are genuinely okay. So comment down below how you guys are feeling at the moment and if everything's all right. But without further ado as you guys can tell by the title and thumbnail of the video today we are going to be listing five turn ons and turn offs of each other so who wants to go first you know how we do it rock paper scissors loser goes first okay i never lose best two out of three or do or die do or die let's go rock paper scissors shoot Ooh. yeah you never lose i let you on i knew you were gonna pick rock the first turn on that i have oh guys by the way we stopped at starbucks mm, this is the best blueberry muffin ever <laughs> My first turn on for you is I love watching you take over in the kitchen. Like that's every time I see you like cooking, I'm like, damn, that's hot. <laughs> okay, interesting. I never thought. All right, well, I guess I gotta. Yeah, I'm gonna be cooking. I'm, I'm gonna cook more often. Okay, that's um, good. My first turn on with you, believe it or not, is your hair. I love when your hair is like freshly done. I don't know, like, I, I just like when it's like nice and done. Either whether it's straight, curly, doesn't matter to me. I just love when it's done and it looks really so good. So do you like my hair today? Yes, I actually do. Really? I really like it more too that it's like, it's black. I really like the black on you. And I'm not gonna lie, don't take it as an insult, but it's because you're very light skinned. I feel like the black really compliments you really well. Thank you. So. I, got, I got called a vampire in high school and people thought that that was like a way to bully me. And I'm just like, that's the best thing you could ever say to me because I want to be a vampire. There's days where you look a little gray. <laughs> There's days like that, man, I'm being honest. But yeah, your hair is a, it's a pretty good turn on for me. I like it. Cool, no, okay. Yeah. <laughs> My next turn on, and it's so weird. Don't come for me, but I think it's so hot the way you chew gum. You've always said I, that. I fucking love how you chew gum. Like you, You've you look so that. good chewing gum. Like how? how you look so good chewing gum. I don't get it. I'm literally just chewing gum. No, you look. I don't know. You look. Hot. You know now now I'm gonna be subconscious whenever I'm chewing gum. I'm gonna make sure not to do it on camera because I'm gonna, gonna be, be looking like, at you like Okay, oh. my next turn on for you is gonna be your tattoos What? Now let me explain. Wait, now, how? Let me explain. <laughs> let me explain. Let me explain. Let me explain. <laughs> These are so, to be so I know but let me explain <laughs> So you already know how I feel like I don't I really wouldn't want you to get like a full sleeve from like mm -hmm. top to bottom I'm not yeah. a fan of that. I like how you're going for the half sleeve right now And I like how you have like little tattoos like you have like one right here. You have one on your ankle I don't know. I just like that You're not overdoing it and I feel like you you're keeping it under control and I don't know I feel like it fits your aesthetic and I just really like the tattoos Thank you. Especially like, I'm not gonna say that on camera. What? That's, that's gonna get a little explicit. I'm not, I'm not gonna say, I was gonna say something about the one on your rib and I notice it when something's happening, but we're not gonna get into that. This is a clean video. <laughs> is it? It's a clean video for okay. now, I think. That shocks me so much because- Just don't overdo it. In high school, Isaiah was obsessed with my blonde hair. So I thought that he was only gonna like me because I was blonde. And then, I and I feel, I feel this way because at one time I went on the bus and Isaiah's like, why did you dye your hair? And I went from blonde to like a reddish brown. He was like, why did you dye your hair? And I'm like, are you kidding me? I was so upset. So I feel like ever since that day, I never wanted to go back to- I was just curious. No, because you love my blonde. You always said it. And I love the red too. The red was hot. <laughs> and then tattoos, he was like, don't get tattoos. And I'm like, too late. Oh, you guys can't see that one. Ah! You showed me, man. You already gave him a sneak peek. All right, well, I'm in the process of finishing my half sleeve, okay? You can't look. So my next turn on for you is whenever you get comfortable and you dance with me. I love when you dance with me. I feel like that's like a form of intimacy. And I feel like that's him coming out of his shell. And for Arissa and Kwan's uh, gender reveal, Isaiah was dancing with me for the first time. And I was just so happy. And like Bro, all of the couples were dancing with each other. It I was, was just such so a vibe. lit. I was so lit. <laughs> like I did not care. I didn't. But let me, I'll say one thing about like Rissa and Kwan's gender reveal. Bruh, their family can get down. They know what? how to party. And it was the best thing ever. And I just felt comfortable. The vibe was good. It was and I was just, such like a I said, vibe. I was so lit. I was just like, yo, YOLO. 
And yeah, man, I I was doing it. I don't even remember doing anything. Jamaican families is it. It, it was it was it. very lit. It was very lit. I so. felt so at home, but. Okay, so my next turn on is gonna be, it kind of goes back to your tattoo, so your style. I like how you're very different, you're very unique with your style. Like you can, and you're very versatile too. You can look classy, you can pull out the street wear, you can pull out pull out like a gothic, like emo kind of style. I like how you can switch it up like that. My favorite that, style. Yeah, and then there's times where I'm like, I'm looking at you and I'm like, <laughs> your style is a big turn on for me too. Oh, thank you. My next turn on is, this is a little explicit is when you spank me in bed like my butt like me like <laughs> wow see i was trying to keep it clean <gasps> I, i'm over here keeping it clean wow i just have to be honest whatever i like when you spank my ass wow you're just out there today yeah Wow, okay. Yeah, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I don't. I that, that one threw me off. I thought we were keeping this clean. I'm about to switch up my stuff now. Well, my next turn on, I'm keeping it clean still. My next turn on is, and I'm not going to say this a lot. This is going to be the only time you're ever going to hear me say this. You're funny. Kind of. Perry! <laughs> kind of. Kind of. Kind of. Okay? No, don't be kind of nothing. I'm funny. You're funny looking. I'm Funny. funny looking, funny smelling. So you know. Shut up! You know I'm funny. That, that one was really hard to say, but you you can be a clown at times. So I, yeah, I like that. I like a girl that can make me laugh and is goofy and stuff like that. I just hate when you're like that and it's like two, three o'clock in the morning and I'm in bed and you're just like poking me and trying to annoy me. I'm like, yo, go to sleep already, bro. Like go I to sleep. I get the most annoying when I'm really tired. I know, but that you can also be the funniest. So if I'm like not <laughs> sleepy by then, that's the funniest thing for me too. But. Yeah, I'll, that's the only time you're gonna hear me say it. And my last turn on is I love watching him drive. Like when he drives, like you, I feel like you, if something happens to you, you get in like a zone and like you're just like in a good mood and you look like, I don't know how to explain it. You know what I look good in? What? A BMW. You wanna get me one? Anyway. Come on, man, I got you your dream car, give me mine. Dang, bruh, dang. One day, maybe. So this is gonna be my fifth turn on for you, but I'm gonna throw a little extra one in there since you got a little crazy before. Okay. So I'm gonna say your teeth. Your teeth are like very nice, white, straight. I love a good smile, and I feel like that's what you have. My, I, I feel like that's so crazy to me, everything that you're saying, because my teeth, ever since I got my um, wisdom teeth grown in, like, I haven't gotten them removed, and I have to. Like, it's been, like, four or five years since I've had to get them removed. My teeth has shifted, so, like, my front tooth is kind of crooked, and I hate it so much because my teeth were literally perfectly It's not straight. even that noticeable. Probably they didn't even notice until you, like, pointed it out. It's noticeable when I, like like someone's looking at me from this way or like i lift my head up and talk for some reason i don't know i guess but i don't know either way you have a nice bright white smile and i love that thank you but like i said i'm gonna throw an extra one in there i like the sounds you make Ooh. next Period. moving on that's all i'm gonna say it's time to be it's time to be honest okay here we turn go with off. the turn offs man here we go when you leave food in the bathroom so let me explain. Don't look at me like that. Don't look at me like that. So every night we <laughs> we both shower and stuff like that, right? Isaiah, when I shower, likes to keep me company. So he'll bring like a box of Skittles and a bag of chips <laughs> and put it on the side next to the toilet where a table is. And he sits there and eats it while sitting on the toilet waiting for me to get out the shower. I'm going it, it's, it's to be there for a long time. You take long showers. Like, I'm hungry. Anyway, we get get out of the shower both of us he leaves it there overnight like I why forget. are you leaving chips and candy in the bathroom and why are you eating in general in the bathroom that's so disgusting i hate i, I hate that Chill, bro I almost spit on my muffin that's nasty <laughs> honestly the biggest turn off with you is the attitude sometimes your attitude sometimes is like through the roof now let me say something you got 100 way better from when we first started way better but your attitude is still there like sometimes you could be a little short tempered i'm gonna blame the birth control but yeah your attitude sometimes i'll be like you need to check it before i wreck it i don't know what that means but yeah check yourself sometimes check yourself before you wreck yourself exactly so yeah and my next turn off is when Isaiah farts on purpose just for me to smell it and get nauseous. 
first yes. of all, first don't, of all, no, 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 don't first of all, anything. you're exposing me. I am exposing you. Second of all, I don't I do am. it on purpose for you to smell it. Yes, you do. Okay, no, I don't. Like, I just have the feeling. That. <laughs> first, <laughs> second of all, I just do it because I feel it and it has to come out. It's not healthy to just hold it. No. So I just let it go. You can easily go to the bathroom and be polite and be a man, a nice polite man. But no, you want to be like under the covers, then lift the covers up and go like this so I can smell it, you nasty ass. You're exposing the hell out of me, bro. Yeah. Chill. Wow, okay, all right. My next turn off for you is you tend to procrastinate a lot. <laughs> it's not on purpose. That, I, bullshit, it's not on purpose. It's really not on purpose. Guys, I'll actually. wake her up at 9 o'clock. She won't get up till like 9.45. Yeah, who wants to get out of bed? I tell her, I'll be like, babe, can you go do this? And you'll be like, yeah, I'll do it. She takes like an hour just to do that. And I'm just like... Did you start that yet? Like, can you go do that? Like, so honestly, I don't procrastinate on purpose. I'm just a very slow person at doing everything. Speed it up. I I can't. I wish I could. I wish I could, but I can't. I've been like that since I was a kid. Ask my mom. So my next turn off is <laughs> when I'm brushing my teeth, and every time I brush my teeth, he has to go <clears throat> every time. What do you mean? I'll be brushing my teeth, and you'll be like. <laughs> Yo, but like you said, me. but you said I, you like when I spank you, but then when I do it when you're brushing your teeth, it's a problem. Oh my goodness, because I'm just like, okay, this, there's a time and a place for everything. Why when I'm brushing my teeth? Guys, for for my guys out there, tell me that when your girl's doing something right and you just happen to walk by, you just have to get like a little squeeze or a little slapping. That's a, that's all it is. You just get a no, little squeeze, a little slap, my teeth and like, you keep it walking. He's like, let me get a squeeze, and I'm like, oh my goodness, can I freaking brush my grill? <laughs> All right, all right, all right, so, all right, all right. Well, my next turn off for you, and it's it's a good thing, but for me, it's a bad thing, is you try to make me eat healthy. I don't want the quinoa. I don't want the veggies. I don't want the freaking wheat bread. I don't want none of that. I hate all that. I never make you eat wheat bread. Either way, I'm just saying things that are healthy. You make me eat healthy, like the veggies <laughs> and the quinoa. And I'm like, bro, I don't eat want none of that. I don't want none of that. I don't eat like your that. Quinoa. No, bro, no. I don't I don't like none it's of that. I hate all that. I hate all that. Stop trying to make me eat healthy. You I want to be fat, I'm to be pressure. fat. You have high blood pressure. My family causes that. They get me mad. Don't be lying. I ain't lying. I'm being said serious. That's why I got high blood pressure. They get me mm -hmm. mad. Too much salt. Oh, screw you. <laughs> My next turn off is... When you get hangry, hangry, or like you're hungry all day and like we're having an off day, he has the worst attitude ever. Like you see, my attitude is bad, but guys, oh my goodness, he starts huffing and puffing. I, I do get mad. And complains every five seconds. Oh, now we gotta do this, and now we gotta rush to do this, and, blah, blah, blah. and I hate like, when my oh days my are gosh. off schedule. If my days are off schedule, and then on top of that, I'm hungry, it's it's gonna be a really bad day. Yeah, for me. Not necessarily because I don't take it out on you. I'm just like I'm. You can tell no. I'm angry, and it's like he you can has feel such the tension. Negative energy. Yeah. I'm big off of like energy stuff, and like if he has a horrible energy, then my mood is shot. Done. Well, my next turn off for you is okay, this goes back to the bathroom. You say I leave food in the bathroom. You always leave, leave your clothes. clothes on the floor. <laughs> I know you were gonna say that. I knew you was gonna pull Bro, it on me. Bro, take your clothes with you. No, but that's not fair because in the morning, yes, I'm always like trying to like get ready fast. So I leave my clothes on the floor and I just sub like it's not. I don't do it, it on purpose. It takes five seconds just to pick them up. I just don't remember to grab them because I'm just so ready to like get on with the day. But at night, that's not fair because at night you leave your shit on the floor and I clean it up for you. You. Don't be up. I did that Bullshit, maybe nothing. twice. Twice no, I did that maybe. Because you haven't noticed because I've been taking your clothes. Because you said. Stop taking my clothes then. I bet I'll pick them up. Okay. My last one is when you talk shit about my music. Oh, that that's like oh, the music you biggest listen to? one. The yeah. music? Okay, I was about to say, I never talk shit about the music you actually make. I actually like the music you make. Well, they don't know that I make music yet. They know that you make music. We just haven't released anything. <laughs> but. Anyway, no, yeah, um, your music sometimes be ODing, like, I don't, it's it's mad depressing sometimes, I'm no, just it's like, not. It, most of the times it is, it's like slow, it's Cancel sad, him. I'm just like, I he can't said, deal with that. He said, he hates SZA. I don't he hate SZA. He doesn't like SZA's right, let music. Me, let, me, let, me, let me rephrase that. SZA is great. 
She's a great singer. She's a great artist. Her music is good. Me personally, Period. I can't listen to it. I just can't. I can't listen to slow songs. I can't listen to sad songs. Doesn't matter who it is. But I she just doesn't can't. make sad songs. I'm just saying it doesn't matter who it is. When it's when it's a slow song, I can't listen to it. If it's a sad song, I can't listen to it. I hate sad music. It's like you're putting me down. I like to be up, but my energy needs to be high. I don't like hypey music. Like it doesn't need to be like fist pumping music it just needs to be like yo no. like a little bump like ooh, like okay. rap like pop smoke i don't know what you want me to do no i like pop smoke pop smoke is a goat but certain rap music i don't like that you listen to and you want to blast it and drive mad fast and i'm more of a good day home and <laughs> I like to bump and chill. So my last thing, and this one gets me going, and it happened yesterday. <laughs> oh God. It happened yesterday. Jesus. You take my stuff and you don't put it back, and then it leaves me freaking searching all over the place trying to figure out where it is. You take my comb, you'll take like my deodorant, and then I'm like, yo, where's my stuff? Where's my comb? Where's my deodorant? I can't find any. And then you're like, oh, it's over here. I had it. Okay. Why? Okay, so first off, who gave you that comb? You, but you have like freaking a million, okay, literally like a million. Question, my next question is, uh, who bought your deodorant? Okay, it's men's deodorant. You have it don't matter. Own, we have our own deodorants, right? No, we I don't. I have a men's, she has her female No, one. we don't, because my deodorant is like crumbles, and I told you I didn't like it. It's not my fault you picked a deodorant you don't like. Shut up! Next time you get a deodorant you like, I don't know what to tell you. Stop using my stuff, because now we running out. Stop using my stuff, but I paid for it. It so don't matter. You gave it. it to me. No givesy backsies. It doesn't matter. If I pay for it, we can share. I can use it. You can share with me. You need to stop being so stingy. Yeah, that was the last one, guys. Um, Dang, we should have did the turn-offs first so we can end this on a good note, because now I just want to fight. So let's fight then. No. My muffin! <laughs> if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. Comment down below, Team Isaiah, because... What? This just, is not a prank, bye. It doesn't matter. Just comment down below because Team Isaiah is the best okay, team so to be on. Okay, so comment down below, Team Janice, then. Don't. They smell over there. Anyway, so if you guys enjoyed today's video, like I said, smash that thumbs up button. Um, Like I said, comment down below also, like, how you guys are feeling right now. I genuinely want to know if you guys are okay. All right, Infinite Fam. So it's time for today's post notification shout-out. Today's post notification shout-out goes out to Yannette Segovia. Thank you so much for your love and support. Isaiah and I love you. If you want a post notification shout-out, all you guys got to do is like, comment, share, and subscribe. And turn your post notification bells on so you're notified when Whenever we post a new video and we'll catch you guys in the next one love you infinite fam i think i need a new muffin i'll show you a muffin <laughs>